Hello everyone and welcome to LearnTag. In this video, I'll show to you guys how you can fix this kind of error with Microsoft Excel. So I'm trying to open a file which is in Excel, but I'm receiving this error which is saying Excel cannot open this file because the file format or file extension is not valid. Verify that this file has not been corrupted and that the file extension matches the format of the file. All right, so in order to fix this method, there is not a specific way. So I'm gonna give to you guys four or five different methods that you can use in order to try to recover this file that could be corrupted or probably the file extension is not properly defined. Let me show you the first method. The first thing that you have to do is to go and search and you just open the Excel application. So once you have opened the Excel application, you need to click over open and now you browse to the location or to the file which you want to open, which is probably corrupted. So in my case, this is on my desktop. So I'm gonna browse to that location and the file that I want to open is this one, to-do list matrix. So I just select that one and then at this options here regarding the opening method, we click at this narrow here and we choose open and repair. So by clicking on that one, then you will see this information which will tell you that Excel can perform checks while opening the workbook and attempt to repair any corruption that may be there, but it's not guaranteed, but we give it a try. So we're gonna click over repair and let's have a look if it will be able to repair it. Unfortunately, as you can see, this method didn't properly work. So we can see that Excel cannot open still this file. All right, so this was one of the methods and actually it's one of the most efficient methods, which in my case actually didn't work. So we click over OK and let's move on to the next method that you guys can try on your PC. So the next easy method that you can try is to open your file explorer and then we check the extension of the file. So by opening your file explorer on Windows 11, you can easily change the view. So we click over view and then we click over show and then we select file name extensions. By clicking on this one, now we can see the file name extensions. In Windows 10, actually it's a little bit different. You have to go through control panel, but you can find that how you do it on your Windows 10, but in Windows 11, it's pretty easy. You just open your file explorer and then you click over the view here and show and then you select file name extensions. Now, if we click over the file here, we can see that actually the file name here is quite weird or not properly defined. So we click with the right of the mouse over this file and we select show more options and then we choose rename. As you can see here, my file has this strange file name. So I'm gonna make this file extension only XLSX. So this is the file extension that should be for an Excel file. We select that and then we try it again to open accessing the file. And still I see this problem and still I see this notification. So what we do, we try that probably this one was a macro file. So this is an Excel file, but with macros. And then in this case, the extension should be changed and we make that XLSM. So let's give it a try. You wanna change? Yes. Always keep a backup of this file so you don't even corrupt it even more. So let's try to open now that I have changed this extension to macro. So here we are, now my file is opening because obviously the extension was not correct because this is a macro file and it needed to be with that kind of extension. So those are two extensions that you need to try and you need to check if the file will be opening then. There are different Excel extensions, but some of those are this that we just showed, Excel SM, Excel SX, or the other one is XLSB, but normally those two are the main Excel extensions that you may need to check if actually your file had previously a different extension and from the one that it is having now, which is not the correct one. Now, the next method that you may need to try is to do this. So we go over the file and we click with the right of the mouse 
we go show more options we choose properties and then add security here at the tabs we click over edit and then we click over add and here we add the permission for everyone so we choose enter the object names to select and we select everyone then check names we click over ok we give full control and then we click over apply so this is in case that there is a problem with the permissions the next thing that you may need to try is let's go again at the properties here and over the file and make sure that opens with application is excel in order to change that you click over change and you change it to the application that it needs which is actually excel sometimes this can be messed up and probably it's showing a different application which is not excel so make sure to change this and to make excel in this case i'm just going to select again this one and choose excel again and we click over ok now the last method that you may need to try is to open excel on the safe mode so we just go at search and we type run and over here we write this common excel and the anti slash save we click over ok and then it will just open the excel application on the safe mode and we try to open the file once again so we click over file here and then we choose open and then we browse to the location where your file which is corrupted is and in my case it's on the desktop so we select that file and we click again open and repair and we repair again that file and hopefully this time will work here we are excel completed file validation and repair and here it is the file that i was missing in this case i am opening it with using safe mode of excel also you can try to open like normally by just going over open and then you select the file by just clicking open without open and repair and you give it a try with that way but normally the best way is to click over open and repair so this was after you have opened the excel on the safe mode by going over run then the last method which is actually a trick that may help you is to click again over the file and then you click over show more options and you choose properties and then you will see over here at the tabs previous versions sometimes if you have edited this file you may have previous versions saved or previous versions that come from file history or from restore points if you have activated on your computer the file history then you are able to check previous versions of your file in this case i haven't but if you want to activate file history you can find the link about on another video on the description below and you can activate file history in order to have previous versions of your files so those were a summarizing of different methods that you can find also in different youtube videos but i did a summarize of all of these methods that actually may work to recover this excel file that's all that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you like this video and I hope that these different methods will help you to fix these kind of problems with your Excel file in case that your Excel file is corrupted or in case there is showing some kind of error with the extension. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you all the best. Thank you.